Hi everyone, my name is Miss Erin and I am so glad that you are watching this today. In this video and in a few other videos, we are going to learn about something called similes. You might be wondering what is a simile? Before we talk further about what similes are, take a look at this short story with me. It says, last Saturday I watched a race with hundreds of people in it. The lady who came in first place was way ahead of everyone else. She was fast like lightning. It was really exciting to watch the race. Let's take a closer look at this sentence from the story that says, she was fast like lightning. Hmm, why would someone say that she is fast like lightning instead of just saying she was fast? And real quick, whenever I ask you questions, I'd like you to just whisper your answer. So the question was, why would someone write that a runner was fast like lightning instead of just saying she was fast? Well, it sure is more interesting to compare the runner to lightning, and it gives a much better, clearer picture in our minds of how fast she was. We know that lightning strikes really fast. It just flashes so quickly, so I can picture someone zooming fast like that. So even though this lady and lightning are really not much alike at all, there is one thing they have in common, and that is that they are both fast. So it makes the sentence much more interesting to say she was fast like lightning. Let's take a look at another short story. It was moving day for Val. She had a room full of boxes that needed to be loaded onto the moving truck, along with some heavy furniture. Thankfully, she had plenty of friends willing to help her. She was especially glad that Tom could help because he was as strong as an ox. They would have no problem getting the heaviest furniture into the truck. Take a look back at the story and see if you can find a sentence that compares two things like our other story did and that helps give you a stronger picture in your head. Did you find it? This sentence here, she was especially glad that Tom could help because he was as strong as an ox. Why do you think someone would compare Tom to an ox? Since people and oxen are really very different, what do these two have in common? Well, they are both very strong. So it makes the sentence much more interesting to say it that way instead of just saying Tom was strong. Now let's look at both of the sentences we've been talking about. Do you see how both of them compare two things? And those two things aren't very much alike, except they do have one thing in common. The first sentence compares a runner to lightning, and the only thing they have in common is that they are fast. The second sentence compares Tom to an ox, and the only thing they really have in common is that they are very strong. Now look at the first sentence. It uses the word like to make the comparison. She was fast like lightning. And the second sentence uses the word as to make the comparison. He was as strong as an ox. And guess what? Both of these are examples of similes. Remember I said that word at the beginning? A simile is a comparison of two things using the word like or as. And look at the example on the poster. His teeth are as white as snow. What two things is this comparing? Whisper your answer. Yes, this is comparing teeth and snow. Why would we compare these two things? Teeth and snow are actually very, very different. But what do they have in common? They are both white. So it gives me a strong and clear picture in my head of these dazzling white teeth. It is more interesting and more effective to say a simile when you really are trying to make a point about how something is, like how white his teeth are, rather than to just say, his teeth are really white. And which little word was used in this simile? Like or as? In this simile, the word as was used. Now I'm going to say a sentence and I want you to whisper yes if it's a simile or no if it's not. Ready? The pizza was hot like fire. Yes, that's a simile. And what two things are we comparing here? Pizza and fire using the word like. How about this one? I saw a huge creature. No, that's not a simile. It isn't comparing two things using the word like or as. How about this one? My brother is as slow as a snail when he gets ready for school. Yes, that's a simile. And what two things are we comparing here? We're comparing a brother to a snail. And what important little word is used in this comparison? The word as is used. 
And why would someone's brother be compared to a snail? What do they have in common? They are both slow moving. Okay, everyone, that's all I have for us today. But before you see the next video lesson, you are going to practice similes. Please complete the page called Simile Practice. Your teacher will assign this either as an online digital assignment or on paper, and then he or she will check over your work. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time.